So that's the basic stuff. Now there's another thing you have to keep in mind. Especially if you have Skype recordings and stuff like that, people might, well, have noisy backgrounds or have issues with tapping on the mic and stuff like that while others are speaking. And those kind of little like clips and sounds and stuff might interfere like plugins or sounds or just do not sound good. So basically you have to go ahead while you edit and well get rid of those and make a nice fade in fade out because um, sometimes um, if somebody breaths in or has other stuff or background noises you kind of hear uh, the edits so keep that in mind always if you have edits get rid of those like I have to listen to it but I kind of know that these are maybe just like her or, hmm or whatever and or mic sounds and so I always um, make that uh, or if I have a prep in problem so to speak I kind of you know just get rid of it uh, that way so it's kind of like a it's a little bit like DPX so if I would do that you know so it's kind of like a it's a little well in this case it's not that bad uh, because I worked on the compression settings but yeah sometimes you can get rid of breath and sounds that way I don't want to go in too much detail um, just one more thing basically when you edit something always check your edit um, that can be a tricky part and sometimes takes a lot of time um, especially if you have long recordings but yeah can help you with a lot of stuff that goes on let me see if I can find a edit point I just play that part here in turn <laughs> yeah quite magic indeed <clears throat> so up until well basically we have a good point here I just want to get rid of the <clears throat> Of Christopher, he has a little cold, so yeah, I want to get rid of that. <laughs> yeah, quite magic indeed. <clears throat> so, so up until <laughs> so basically, I even could well delete this. So I go ahead in out. Even could try to get rid of the pref in, and just delete that. I have shortcuts for that. And now I go back in time, so to speak, and check the edit. Magic indeed. Up until up until very recently. Uh... So basically, um, I well, it's not working that well. So I just I edit that out. Magic indeed. So up until up until very recently. Basically, <laughs> I edit that repeat as well okay <laughs> yeah quite magic indeed so up until very recently uh... yeah that that could could work sometimes I go ahead and work a little bit of the prep because sometimes it sounds a little bit unnatural if you have breaks and um, not as good sometimes it helps to increase the break and here it is important to make a fade in fade out because sometimes, yeah, that, that's the trick. <laughs> yeah, quite magic indeed. So, up until very recently... Uh, yeah, that could work a little bit more um, if I, I have the time. And basically what I do in the meantime, I go ahead and fade in, fade out, stuff like that. Because of the um, gate I use and the plugin, I don't have to go ahead and um, work with all these silent parts, but I could do that as well. Two points, stuff like that. That uh, is working as well. Uh, so yeah, you get the idea. Um, I hope that kind of gives you an idea what to do um, with your edits. Always check them, fade in, fade out. Use a gate if you have the basic 
uh, equalize the settings, get rid of the low end, even though sometimes the voice doesn't sound as trailer-like as you would like, but it can help with long recordings to get rid of the plop sounds and other low frequencies that really can mess up your basic compression and limiter settings. Um, have a limiter in your tracks and especially have a master limiter as well and use your ears um, to to judge if something is good or not so good you can work with the equalizer to get rid of a little bit of noisy stuff and especially if you have something going on in the background of um, the gas track or something yeah you kind of have to get rid of that in terms of use the fade in fade out tool with your volume tracks or just separate them like here just add it and then you know uh, sometimes a lot of work goes into that but in the end the end result sounds good yeah that's it i hope i didn't mess up your your workflow every person has a different kind of workflow well, well hmm, anyway matter of taste so i hope that did help a little bit if you have any questions please send me an email or something uh, and i can log into it i might go a little bit into detail with other stuff in the next tutorials and one more thing um i found uh, just today a nice little um, blog post that gets a little bit more into frequencies and what frequencies you should use or pay attention to and some quick tips um but well, this guy again yeah he is good he is amazing i put the link somewhere on my blog where you can find all kinds of different things and stuff and links and whatnot and yeah check that out and have fun with your edits here soon <laughs>